you can look at it a whole lot of different ways today. The reality is we just didn't execute pitches consistently. And, I mean, they, they hit balls through holes. They blooped balls in. They hit balls off walls. And they hit balls out of the ballpark. I mean, they, they literally, every conceivable type of hit they could get, they had today. Some of the things, maybe positioning-wise, we could have done a little bit better. You're not changing 21 hits at the end of the day, though. Uh, at the end of the day, we got to execute better on the mound. I just think it's one of those rough outings for Clayton. And you hate to leave him out there that long. Just... You had two outings prior to that where your pitcher went three innings and four innings. And so you're, you're doing whatever you can to get deeper into the ball game so you don't run through your bullpen. But uh, just a tough one when you end up flushing and getting back out in San Francisco tomorrow and getting after them. You mentioned lack of execution. Arenado with the, the home runs today, you'd pitched him pretty pretty well in previous games. Was this, He figured something out or just not executing the, the game plan today? He's really good. I mean, that goes without saying. But either the pitches he hit out, like if you go back and look at him, missed spots, uh, missed execution. So uh, at the end of the day, you tip your cap to him because he's a really good baseball player. He's good at hitters. There's a major league baseball. So uh, if you don't execute, that's what he does. If you do execute, he's pitchable just like everybody else. But his, the margins are, are slim and uh, the chance for error is very small. Otherwise, he takes advantage. When you see John Gray pitching a mostly clean game on the other side, how much does that add to the frustration of a blow up like this? Uh, I mean, I think we had opportunities to score off him. I think at the end of the day, you give six innings, go four runs, you leave the bases loaded a couple times out there, and you have opportunity to like push more runs across the board. Like, could he easily, uh, could he easily push seven or eight across the board today if we get a couple key hits? Uh, you look up, you got ten hits. Uh, I think through the series, uh, I don't know what we did in three games, score close to twenty runs. Like for us, offensively, it's it's a relatively good series. It's at Coors Field. Uh, the opposition scoring thirty something runs though, so. Uh, we have to pitch better and defend better. And uh, I think over the last few weeks, pitching's been good. It's been solid. Came to a place uh, against a very good offensive team. It's a good hitter's environment. And they, they took advantage of us. And I think they kind of got back on last game in New York where they scored a dozen or 13 runs against the Mets. And then they kept rolling when they got back here. So uh, it's up to us to get back on top of it. we got some guys going chassing tomorrow in San Francisco with all our like top-end bullpen guys ready to go and pitch. So expect it to change quickly. Given the recent success you've had, what do you make of this series in terms of is it something you can kind of just put behind you and move on? Yeah, I think regardless of what's happened in the past, you have to put this behind you and move on. You learn what you can from these moments. You learn, have the conversations with Lamette and Terrence about yesterday, and you move forward with whatever you got to do today to learn from. But uh, you flush these games. You move on, and you show up plan to win a baseball game tomorrow. You think you're pretty sufficient to cover. You mentioned that the top bullpen guys didn't pitch today. You think you're sufficient to cover going tomorrow? Yeah, we were able to keep Craig Stammen out of it so he can provide length tomorrow. We have a number of other arms that are going to be available because we kept those guys out of it. Uh, that said, we'll, we'll talk about it internally and see if we need to make a change to get some more depth. But that will be a topic of conversation. I don't think any change is imminent. Will the removal have anything to do with the, the single in the fourth? Or was it just a 12-run game at the time? Uh, I, the game more than anything else. Get him and Eric Ibar out as quickly as possible and get down by 12 runs. And you got guys that have been out there every single day. Just get them out of the game. You're probably okay after seemed to stumble a little bit on that ball in the outfield. Yeah, he's good. He's fine. He played a good game. Uh, for me, the most encouraging thing of the last number of days has been the quality of his at bats. Uh, even his strikeouts, really good strikeout. His base hits are good. His walks are good. Really good at bats. Uh, it was really encouraging things. He's taken some real steps forward.